welcome back to Grow Socially's latest installment of the summer video series. My name is Lou. And I'm Tom Barry. We're going to get started here. Um, Tom, pretty, you know, pretty interesting week in news. Apple's yeah. making some waves, uh, some big political news out there. Uh, number five, the Pentagon, the Department of Defense is gearing up for cyber war. Um, I like that word. Cyber yeah. war. Sounds cool, but it is no laughing no. matter. Uh, Tom, you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, basically, they it, it, they just released uh, a statement about the fact that they experienced an attack in March where 24,000 department documents were uh, hacked and uh, experienced. So they just upgraded and got a whole bunch of new computers and, and upgraded their entire system in order to protect themselves and in the long run protect against the cyber war because that's you know a lot of things are on that network and you don't want to be leaving that open for just anybody to reach into so absolutely number four uh apple has released or oh they've been rumored i should say to be in the works of purchasing hulu the uh popular television streaming website um the ad supported website so that would that would be very interesting if apple acquires a site like that that's become so popular um, and also there is a subscription service available now with Hulu mm. so that would be a very interesting little feather in Apple's cap. Apple also making news this week they released uh, the Lion operating system which of what I've read on that so far apparently is just great um, if they haven't had one since Snow Leopard am I right on that? Snow Leopard? Mm. Thank you yes. to Carrie our, our camera lady today yes. um, checking our facts but yeah so I've heard some great things about Lion, um, Apple rolling out some great new features with that, and they expect sales to be um, pretty pretty successful with that new operating system. Uh, number three, Tom, some records being broken. Yeah, the World on Cup. Twitter. The World, World Cup, Cup set, yeah. set two records. They uh, tweets per second. They set one, and then they then they broke it. So that's two. So they uh, that's pretty sweet. They they beat that record tweets per second. And then they broke it again. So I'm not surprised. I mean, millions of people watch the World Cup. Uh, having it be the Women's World Cup, not probably not as many viewers, but that's those numbers are getting up there. Uh, women's sports in general, but um, not surprised to see that they would break a record like that. Uh, number two, uh, Facebook is putting their foot down against mm. Google Plus. I know you've read about this a little bit. If you want to take the reins on this one, Tom. Yeah, I guess uh, Mark Zuckerberg decided that no Google Plus ads are allowed on Facebook whatsoever. Uh, there was a the web developer that put an ad through Facebook, had paid for an ad to try and transfer some of his viewers or some of his followers on Facebook and bring them onto his Google Plus because he was in love with it. And <laughs> Facebook sent him a message that said, no way, and they suspended his account. Said uh, They really couldn't give him a reason why, but they told him to refer to the Terms and Services Agreement and really had no specific reason to why he was not allowed to advertise anything on Google+, Plus, which is very interesting. Think Zuckerberg's nervous? I, I, I would be. Google's a conglomerate in that, in that department. And so. Google+, Plus, I believe, is already up to almost 20 million users. Yeah. Uh, over 18, I think, last I checked, but they're, they're getting very close to 20, 20 million mm -hmm. users already. And number one, um, some political news that actually happened earlier today, a bombing in Oslo, um, out in uh, Scandinavia, northern part of Europe, um, and social media, Twitter and YouTube, uh, much like the Vancouver riots, were quick to um, get on this story. I know they've taken a lot of pictures and videos of it, a, a big car bomb, um, many, many people injured, and also Google Plus is being sort of tested right now to see how it is as a breaking news outlet, much like Twitter has kind of become unofficially um, with things in the past few months between Osama bin Laden's uh, death and things of that nature. Twitter has definitely taken on a role, and Google Plus is trying to throw its hat into that ring. And like we've mentioned with so many users already, um, we're really going to see the impact and how that works out, and I think time will tell. Uh, remember to follow us on Twitter. At Tom R. Barry. And at Lou Smaglia, and remember to follow Acro socially as well. I'm um, here to help you with all your social media marketing needs. Um, and mobile. And mobile and website design and consulting we as well. We do a little bit of everything over here. Right. We wear many hats. 
All right, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next week. See you later.